Hello guys, Paul here and tonight I'm going to talk about my real coming out story. Looking back at my life, I guess there were signs throughout my life I might have been gay and that I knew when I was about 13, 14, I definitely was gay, but I was not in a million years ever going to show that side of me. And that started a sort of, it kick-started my depression in, during my teenage years, and I just hated that side of myself. I just, but we won't go into that in in our video but I just really hated myself uh, during those years and um, I was just disgusted and because of that I did try and change myself which is impossible you cannot change what you like um, and I did try and go for giggles but nothing was clicking it just it didn't feel right um, and stopped chasing girls about 2006 because I knew I was gay, and, you know. Um, and during that year, I did think about coming out then, but I guess I wasn't ready. 2007 was a funny year because I remember. This might sound silly. I remember being Bebo and, um, you know, I was adding these hot guys, you know. Um, and then I would go on my page and say, oh my god, I think someone's hacked into my page. You know, to make it sound like it wasn't me who was adding them and it wasn't me, you know, that was looking at their pages. And, you know, Looking back at that, that just seems like madness. Um, and I did um, actually come out in 2007, but I saw my mum's reaction and I turned it into a joke and I said, oh, only kidding, because it did not look good. And I was so close from, you know, I was going to broadcast it on the internet on Bebo at the time was the most popular social site and I was just going to broadcast it and when I saw my mum's reaction I quickly <laughs> changed my mind and only a select few knew that year, like Samantha, whom I think I told first, and she was okay with it, um, but I quickly, you know, deleted anything on a social site that could, you know, look like I was gay, and <laughs> went back in the closet before you could say boo. 2008 was by far the most groundbreaking year of my life. It started off with me, um, I remember a time when I secretly recorded Skins 2 at the time was on, and just because I, you know, I never had watched it before, but I fancied the pants of the Maxi character, and, um, when my sister came across it, I said, oh, I didn't know you were into that. I was like, oh, must have been a mistake. Must have pressed record by accident. But a few months down the line, I did what I bottled um, six or seven months prior, and I came out to my mum and my sister. Um, it was one of the worst days of my life, but a day that 
needed to happen. Um, I put pressure on myself a week prior that I had already announced it on Bebo deliberately so I had no other choice but to tell my mum before someone else did and also all my work knew by then so you know it was only a matter of time before my mum and sister found out second hand so yeah I deliberately put pressure on myself and you know just one day <laughs> just say oh, I'm I'm gay I'm um, not joking and no it wasn't pretty um, well, everything's cool now but there were some <sighs> horrible times but everything's cool now between us and uh, you know it, it's what needed to be done in my opinion so most uh, everyone I knew knew I was gay by then and um, to my most surprise the one friend I thought would run a hundred miles away from me was Jonathan JC Christie who has been a great friend since and ironically has made us even better friends. <laughs> um, none of my friends have fallen out with me over this part, well not a fallout but I will say there is one friend, I won't name him, but our friendship has not been the same since um, I've been friends with this guy for my whole life and I do f feel a bit sad sometimes but uh, what can you do it's probably mostly my folks I mean I used to sit with him and slag the fuck out of gays at school you know I was so homophobic at school it was unreal um, so perhaps he's maybe thinking oh you know I've just been lying to him all this time but I was just I was just scared so yeah what a year 2008 was despite all the negatives and despite um, <laughs> the majority of the scene queens being absolutely vile um, coming out has changed my life for the better and if I were to turn back the clock I would have probably came out about 16 and you know I think I wouldn't have been as depressed all those years um, but since coming out um, you know I went back to college to do acting which I had previously never had the balls to do um, I went to Wrestlemania which I probably would have never done either and that turned out to be the greatest day of my life and uh, made some fabulous not just gay friends but straight friends as well and new ones I've you know got more friends than I have ever had before real friends and um, still got my old ones too so you know it's, it's all good um, also believe it or not before coming out I was never drunk. I went, now this might sound quite sad but I maybe went out about five times between the ages of 18 and 20. No joke. So yeah um, now I'm someone that goes out and gets wankered weekend sometimes you know four days a week so a lot has changed since then.